The essence of tragedy is a real conflict between the subject, the subject's freedom and an objective necessity, a conflict which is ended not by defeat of one or the other, but because both at once victors and vanquished appear in a perfect indifferentiation. Frederick Schnelling, or Schelling, sorry. Ugh. It's Valentine's Day, so we're going to play a game called Don't Make Love. Um, never played this game before, excited to do it. I was waiting for a day like Valentine's Day to go ahead and play this game. Uh, it looks really cute. Um, it looks like these guys are like little crickets or um, praying mantises, maybe, um, which would be really funny because the game's called Don't Make Love, if you know anything about praying mantises. Um, when they mate... The female actually bites the head off of the male and continues to mate with it. Um, so yeah, uh, this game is pretty much about surviving. <laughs> At least it looks like it is. But I'm super stoked to play it. I'm really, really excited. So let's just go ahead and get started. Select the sex of your character. Well, I'm a, I'm a lady. I'm a lady, so I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna be a female because I'm, I'm a female. So. Mm -hmm. You spent many pleasant months together, but lately he's so distant that he doesn't even hear what you're saying. It wouldn't be difficult for you to guess what he's thinking, but it's such a strain for both of you to bring up the topic. His life is at stake in your hands. You keep saying to yourself that you need to listen to him and accept whatever he says, but you're too afraid to lose him. Sorry for asking you to follow me here, but it's, it was kind of important for me to be in a quiet spot. Um, um, I think you've noticed that I've been a bit distant lately. And I guess you're wondering why. Yeah. You smile a lot. I like it when you smile, but this smile seems endless now. You're pretty silent, too. Sorry, just distracted. Oh, you've managed to speak again, as I was saying. Yes. So far, it's been nice being together, making plans for the future sharing our desires and our aspirations. But now, I don't know what happened. It's just that I was struck by a realization. I realized it's just a matter of time before we're drawn to each other in a dangerous way. Dangerous? Because we're attracted to each other. I like you. And that attraction could spell my end. Yes, it could. But at least you would go out with a bang. Winky face. Get it? Go out with a bang? I'm sorry I didn't say anything before. Maybe you're worried seeing me so closed off. Yeah. I've tried not to think about it at first, then I tried to explain my feelings away. I tried to convince myself, to reassure myself. It's always better if we reassure each other. Oh. Aww. I like it when we hold each other like this. You're not saying anything. Is there something wrong? No. Um... No. Nothing's wrong. Thanks. Maybe now we can concentrate more on what we were discussing before. Sure. I saw that you noticed, but I didn't feel ready. And now? It's not that I think that you would want to harm me now, but I look at you and... And? You're beautiful. Aww. Are you okay? You're not even speaking our language. Now that you're able to speak a known language again, I would like to go back to where we left off. 
Whatever. No. Talk to me. And I'm pretty sure this, this will become a problem for us. I'm not happy about this. I'd like to find a way. I like it when you smile. Thanks. I love you. I'm not saying I've forgotten what you were and are for me, but now these fears are about our relationship are growing. Our bond gets stronger and we get closer, but we also start to have expectations of each other. It's nice having you here. I know that you care about me. I do, my love. And yet, loving you, I'm inevitably, a I'm inevitably attracted to you with all the risks that brings. Don't lose your head now. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so dark. I don't think there's a proper solution, but I want to know what you think, even though I think I should have the last word. What was that kiss for? Being so sweet. I don't even know if I want to make a decision now, but I do know that I don't want to feel this way any longer. Don't be sad. We're talking now, so we can make the sadness and fear go away. Thank you for being open with me. I'm sure that this conversation will help me. That it will help us. There are different aspects to consider. I'd like to talk about them together. Okay. Even though we might not come to a clear decision, this will help our relationship grow. That's what I want, too. Our situation is so ironic. Why do you say that? I wonder, if sometime, I wonder sometimes if things would be different if we were a different species. What kind of insect or animal would you like to be? Oh, that's a good question. If I were an insect or an animal, what would I like to be? I don't even know. That's you, you figure you get that question all the time. But like you don't like really think about it until it's it's like you. Um I wanna say like something like strong and like you know, fierce, like a lion or a wolf or, a, you know, something really cool, but, um, I'm not more like an otter. Like, I like to play, I like to, you know, groom, I like to, you know, like, like, I like to, you know, play in the water. I think I'm gonna be an otter. An otter. Being an otter would be nice. I would like to be a, ter a termite king. And you would be my queen. Oh, oh gross, but oh. That's so sweet. I imagine if, if we could switch gender. My perspective on all of this would probably be totally different. It would be different, but we are who we are. And that's okay. Instincts are strange. Sometimes they clash with what you want. Um, I'm just gonna smile. My friends say that I'm a fool. That at some point you'll give yourself free reign and I won't be able to escape. I would never do that on purpose. I would never do that on purpose. I know. I like your kisses, but don't kiss me too often. I can't help myself. 
you handsome devil. Winky face. For how much I love you, for every time I look at you, I feel guilty that we can't go beyond certain limits. Oh, trust me. I get it. Sometimes I criticize myself. I say that I should be more brave. You are brave. After all, it isn't so rare for insects to eat the male partner. It's in our nature. <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh my gosh, this is so awkward. <laughs> I guess that's normal. My mother ate my father. But that is the circle of life for us. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So actually what I'm doing is okay. It says negative questions consider no as a confirmation and yes as a neg negation. For example, to the question, do you believe in us anymore? Yes, we'll interpret it as yes, I do believe in us. No will be interpreted as no, I don't believe in us. If you don't know what to say, you can always type continue to go on. Continue or go on. Um, we don't have any family or relatives. We're born in the wild and will die in the wild. Continue. I wonder if I'd hold myself back like you do if I were female. Continue. You're probably right. You certainly know how it feels. Yes. Ironically, I could accuse them of the same thing. I know they all secretly want a partner. I'd really appreciate it if you could avoid being so monosyllabic. I'm sorry. Living a lonely life just isn't for us. Oh. Can I give you a hug? Luckily, we have each other. Oh. In any case, we're going to have to deal with our nature. We certainly can't mutate into different species. No, we can't. Sometimes I think that desire and death are oddly related. Don't you think so? I don't know. I feel like I don't have a desire to die. Um, no. I thought you would feel differently. No. Sorry if I picked this topic. Am I making you uncomfortable? No. I think this is something we should talk about exactly. Okay. Hmm. I know I make long speeches sometimes, but please, try to be more talkative. Okay. Or, yes. Whatever. Don't brush me off. I hope you notice that it's not fun when people start talking in mon monosyllables. Now I'm getting angry. Are you okay? Your behavior is a little off. You are not making sense. I mean, you're acting strange. <sighs> Let's just keep talking. For us, the highest expression of love is death. But I don't want you to die. If we decide to make love, you could think of my death as the greatest gift I could offer you. Oh! Don't worry. I don't want to sacrifice myself. Then don't. But is that really true? Maybe staying alive instead would be the greatest gift. Yes. If 
I'm not there when you need me. When we can't share our day-to-day -day lives. When that would be the point, then what would be the point of being together? In the long term, it's better to help each other all through our lives. Yes. Because it's more important to share our life than consume it. Yes. Hmm. What are you thinking? I hope you notice that it's not fun when people start talking in monosyllables. Yes. But I love you, and I know you're, you, that making love is important. Smile. Sex is necessary to make a relationship complete. Um... I'm gonna bounce back on that a little bit. I don't think it's necessary to make a happy relationship. I think you have people who can have a successful relationship without sex. Um, if you don't want to have sex, don't have sex. Nobody should be able to force you to go ahead and have sex if you don't feel comfortable or you're not into it or that's just not your thing. Um, nobody should be able to be able to go ahead and, and make you or force you or make you feel guilty for having sex. Um, sex is, should be between two consenting adults. Um, I hope you're right, because sometimes I'm so attracted to you. Um, yes. Love and death are strangely related. How? Let's try not to be so gloomy. I'm sorry about that. Don't let me go. <laughs> There's two bugs. There's bugs. They're little praying mantis. I won't let go, Jack. It's not easy for me to tell you all this. Men can be like that sometimes. I'm doing this because I love you. Because I want to start really enjoying the moments we spend together again. I'd be lying if I said that I'm not attracted to you. And that's the problem. It's a good thing that I'm attracted to you. The problem is the consequences. Babies? Babies are good consequences. Well, unless you don't want the baby, then it's not a great consequence, but... Don't be sad, please. I'll try not to be... I'm torn between the love I feel for you and the fear of death. I know there's a chance I could survive. At the same time, there still isn't enough for me. Sorry. Try to look at the things from my point of view. I've been keeping all this inside for too long, though. Let it go. Let it go! Let it go! There's a battle inside me between what I want to be for you and what I am. My friends don't understand when I try to explain this to them. Her male friends? Should I accept the, my potential death or live with a sense of, of inadequacy? Yes. Anyway, the most important thing right now is to keep talking. I'm sure I'll feel better. Okay. Keep talking. I don't want to leave you, but I don't feel ready to make love. Okay. I understand. No means no. Because I understand consent. In a way, I think this tension between us is something beautiful. I don't want to break up, but I don't want to make love. I just want to be together to see where this all takes us. Aww. 
That's beautiful. That's cute. Cute little game. I'm sure you can play it a couple different ways. Um, I think I actually got this game for free off of Steam. Um, it's kind of an interesting game to play, but um, I just thought of something cute for Valentine's Day. Um, the two little praying mantises, or maybe they're crickets or lightning bugs, or um, they're they're some type of bug. Um, but I think that's really cute. That's that's really cute, and it's a good. Um, it's it's definitely it's definitely cute. It's definitely really really cute, and and nice and and just kind of heartwarming for for Valentine's Day. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I really really did um, enjoy making this. This is really really cute. It was very very cute. Um, I hope everybody had a great Valentine's Day, and you got to spend it with some people that you love, um, whether that be a romantic love or a brotherly love or a familiar love, or a friendship love. Um, everybody deserves to feel loved. Um, everybody deserves basic kindness and respect, and everybody deserves to feel loved. Um, thank you so much for watching. My name is Lady Onassi, and have a beautiful and wonderful Valentine's Day. Love you all. Bye.